surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Hero Essentials here. I was asked on how to glam up dining chairs. And here are some couple of photos that were sent to me. These are lion knuckle chairs and plain simple knuckle chairs and one that has been embellished with embroidery. Now out of the three, I picked the one in the middle. It has a subtle elegance to it. That's why I picked it. I will be making designs with the lion knuckle heads and I will be sharing that with you guys soon. I'm gonna start off this DIY with a chair that I got from the thrift store. I'm gonna change the shape of the back a little bit with this leftover flexible board and a PVC strip. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The next piece I'm gonna attach is gonna be the flexible board at the back. I have a bit of opening here and that's going to be covered up with a corrugated plastic sheet that I got from Michael's craft store. There was an opening there because the board was not flexible enough to cover up that little part. That's why I'm going to be using a different board there. The next step was to sand down the legs of the chair. I'm doing this to prep it for spray painting. This will make the spray paint adhere better to the wood. When I was done, I cleaned it and then took it out and spray painted it gold. I'll be covering up this chair with a fabric that's in a champagne color. And for the top of the chair, I'm going to be attaching a 1 inch foam to it. I folded and attached the fabric at the back first before neatly covering up the remaining. I'm gonna make two lines in front of the chair. It's gonna be a simple design because I'm gonna have a lot going on at the back. I noticed an error when I was doing this and it's the amount of fabric that I had on the inside and I kind of left it there because I didn't think it was going to show after the design that I'll be making at the back but I was wrong so just so you guys know the fabric at the back should be reduced as much as possible to avoid any excess from showing 
this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to be covering up some of the rough sides and decorating the chair with the silver trim that I got from Walmart. I'll be using tack nails to attach the trim to the chair. I'm also going to be using the same silver trim to cover up the stipple pins in the front. Now moving on to the back, I'm going to find where the middle is and attach a brooch there. I attached it to the fabric with a pin that came with it and it's not straight so I'm going to be using long tack nails to make it sturdy. After that I'm going to be drawing straight lines around it to guide me on where I'm going to start the pattern. Now because this has pearls and gems around it, I got a trim from Hobby Lobby that has pearls and gems on it. I'll be attaching all of the cutoff pieces with a hot glue gun and tack nails. I used four yards of this trim for this pattern and they're all different lengths that I cut just to give it some kind of contrast. Now to make the pattern more interesting, I'm going to cut singular strips from a bling wrap to fill in the open spaces on the pattern. I'm also going to be attaching them with hot glue gun and tack nails. I was gonna leave it like this, but then I figured I got a lot of bling wrap, so why not just make it fuller? And that's what I did. I added more bling wrap to make it fuller and it looks much more better. I'll be carving up the staple pins that I have by the side with a trim that's with pearls and gems. And I'll be attaching it with a hot glue gun and tack nails as well. And that's it. Now you have a pretty and unique dining chair. That's definitely a conversation starter in the home. Now who says you cannot have your favorite pearls and gems on a dining chair? This is so pretty and I love the way it turned out. The front is bare, like I said, because a lot was going on at the back. So I decided to just keep the front as simple as possible. So this is an interesting way to glam up an already existing dining chair that you may have in the home. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.